businesses began to boom and the national markets grew, several people began to move to the Northeast because they wanted jobs. Most people li lived in the slums, as depicted in many of these photos. Five to nine people lived in a single room. As a result, industrial cities grew rapidly due to immigration of farmers from rural areas and immigration of Europeans. Several large families would share housing, which led to unsanitary, tight living conditions. Pollution was also becoming a pressing issue due to the lack of regulation on factories, as you will see in many of these photos. The roots of industrialization in 18th century Britain can be located in small-scale manufacturing enterprises. The early textile industry is, typical, is a typical example of this, but that soon changed. Industrial Revolution working conditions were extremely dangerous for many reasons, namely the underdeveloped technology that was prone to breaking and even fires, and the lack of safety regulations for the workers. It was dangerous economically as well. Owners were under no regulations and did not have a financial reason to protect their workers. Wages were low and workers were expendable. Working conditions for adults during the Industrial Revolution were tragic, but they were even worse for children. There were no child labor laws in place during this era. Children of low-income families were put to work as early as possible. Employers often took advantage of their youth and cut their wages. They were also given the jobs that no one wanted. This led to many health issues for the kids that caused problems for them later on in life, if they lived long enough to get there.